Hey Cancers, what's up? We are going to do a relationship um, reading real quick. If I swear if it is codependency or it is safe to love comes up, I'm just going to, I'm done. Done. Separation. There could be a separation on the horizon or you are already separated from this person. You might just uh, be like you're talking still. But, like, you're, like, not seeing each other or, like, somebody's, like, on the other side of the country or something like that. So, um, you know, you're just being kind of, like, flirty right now with this person or you're just getting to know this person. Just, it's asking you to just extend, extend your lightheartedness to others. It's saying that you are deserving to, you're just, <laughs> why does everything keep falling off? <laughs> you are lovable. You deserve to be loved. Okay. Love yourself first. Express your love. I think this means express your love to yourself. Pay attention to the red flags. Calling in your soulmate. See. This is so crazy. Because this is my son. And I know what's going on with him right now. And I just did other readings for other people that... are part of this situation he's in, painting the red flags. I'm not going to take those. I will take this one, new love, and the other one said true love. Okay, so it's saying call in, uh, calling in your uh, soulmate. You could be having visualizations of seeing this person or getting back together um, from the separation. It's saying love yourself. Maybe you're, uh, really putting all your, you know, love into this person right now and acceptance. Um, pay attention to the red flags. Yeah, there's going to be some kind of vulnerability that needs to happen. Um, it's saying call, express your love, love yourself first. You deserve love. That's a lot of like same kind of energy. Um, it's saying just be still, be in your power. There has been an activation of love that has, um, been what's the word not inspired like pretty much like it just happened like there's been something that's going to be leading to um new beginnings okay it has a lot of passion within it within this person yeah purify your mind get out of your head don't be so like hyper vigilant about everything okay this has something to do with your karma but there will be a celebration coming there's an enfoldment of love okay just stay in your innocence this person could be um immature or you could be um or it could just be part of the new beginning and having fun getting to know each other just nurture yourself right now and be good to yourself there is a completion at the end of all of this this cycle is over it has been completed pay attention to what was going on in the full moon on our last one, which I think was in Capricorn, which is all about hard work. So you could have been doing something at that time that you were working hard on that helped complete this cycle. Um, probably maybe even healing yourself. Okay. Have a good day, guys. Bye.